go ahead and kind of explain a little bit about what it's all about. Tree Challenge is our biggest ongoing community event. Every other week, volunteers collaborate to grow seven degrees of connections for a special genealogy guest star. And if you're here, uh, hopefully you've registered for the challenge for this week is for Randy Siever. And Randy's with us today on the Zoom call. Thanks, Randy, for joining us. We're really excited to get started on your week. And just want to kind of go over what um, the different aspects of the pages are uh, on Wikitree so that everybody knows where to work or where to find resources. So the first place we'll look at is the space page for the challenge. And it is our place to collaborate, ask for help, share information. And everybody should feel free to add information to the, pa the page. It's, it's your workspace. The G2G post where you signed up is also where uh, you can collaborate and can communicate. Awen's got up the, um, the lines here for us. Let's see if it'll refresh here. So if I'm on the right page, it will. <laughs> there we go. So she's got the connections out there. So as you um, find, these are the ones where we're gonna, if you find a connection, is that right, Eowyn? Yeah. If you are, find it. Like Brandy's already connected to the tree, but if you work on one of these lines and you find a unique connection, which means you're adding profiles and at some point you find a profile that's already on WikiTree, <clears throat> then you can get connection bounding points if you're the first one on that line. And then there's also an answer here for the bonus brick walls. So um, these are submitted by Randy as things that he's um, specifically mentioned that these are ones that he's been having, he's had for a while. And uh, if you're able to work on them throughout the week, that's great. If you're able to break one, let us know by answering this or commenting on this post, this answer. Uh, and we'll get you some bounty points for that. So uh, Randy has given us some great information. There's a lot of great uh, notes to get you started. There's a link to his ancestry profile tree and the my heritage tree that he has. And there's notes here about which one is really the most up to date to work from if you want to go out there and check that out. And there, like I said, there's a lot of great notes to, to read through. And so you can kind of get an idea for where you want to get started. So at the top of the page, we have uh, the guest star. And then you can see that Kathy has agreed to be our team captain. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> and there's a, another place that's linking here to the G2G post. Also here are some YouTube videos about uh, an introduction to the WikiTree challenge and what it's all about to maybe help you learn a little bit more about it. Here also is the help Discord page link and then a video about what Discord is and how you can uh, get connected to the WikiTree Discord server. It really is a great place to um, be able to communicate in real time quickly, get uh, questions answered or uh, issues resolved. So definitely check that out, give it a try. And the next section is the score sheet. And I think, just double checking, uh, it looks like the score sheet isn't up yet, but it will um, update. If you've already gotten started, no worries. It'll it'll keep track of all that. So don't worry about that. Just go ahead and get started if you'd like. <laughs> so we have uh, maintenance categories in uh, that are linked here. Uh, so if you have um, a profile that you maybe don't want to focus on the biographies, you just want to get sources added. If you add the needs biography category for the WikiTree challenge, we have uh, participants that really like to write up the biographies and focus on that aspect. So there's, if you're interested in different things, like maybe you like to do GEDCOM cleanup, you can go into that category. And if there, there might be some 
work there for you to work from. So lots of uh, ways to get to work or to ask for help and to say that some a profile needs needs work. Another place to um, maybe reach out for help uh, is about fo photographs. So we want to be careful about uploading images to Wikitree. Be sure that they're uh, free from copyright. There is linked here the help section on how do you know if you have permission to upload a photo. If there's a question in your mind, please read through this and kind of try to work through it. If you still can't quite figure it out, you can reach out to Aon or I about it um, and we'll get, we'll take a look for you. Next up, we have the family search image lookups. So some images on family search aren't available just to view just anywhere. So we have uh, volunteers like Karen Lowe that live near an affiliate, uh, or actually she lives near the actual uh, Salt Lake she lives in Salt Lake City near the Family Search Library, so she can actually go and check that out for you and do the do the lookup. So when you are requesting a Family Search image lookup, or maybe you're sharing an interesting find, uh, you'll want to sign off by doing the four tilts next to your entry. And what that does when you save your changes, you go back here, you'll see that it actually signs and dates your entry so that we know who left that request for information. Or um, when we get down to the interesting finds, we'll know who left the interesting find. So we know who to get into contact with or to award the uh, interesting find survey uh, bounty points. And the next part is the locations. This is one of my favorite parts. So uh, I posted in here what the current locations are um, for Randy's uh, CC7 within seven degrees of him. So we're already out uh, into France, Germany, Finland, England, Canada, lots of different places. So um, feel free to add here to this as you find um, more locations. We love hearing about that. And this is what I was talking about. The next section is tell us what you found. So interesting finds, share any interesting stories that you find and let us know who, who you are so we can be sure to uh, award bounty points if, if the survey uh, results in that. We, uh, Eowyn does a survey, I think about midweek, is it? Or towards the end of the week, Eowyn? Yeah. Yeah. Monday, well, usually Tuesdays. Yeah. <clears throat> and so the top seven interesting finds uh, get gets awarded bounty points. Yeah, you guys will be able to vote on your top seven favorites. And we love to hear those stories. So yeah. please, 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 remember, share. please come share. <laughs> And also there's a section here for military profiles because we like to know about any uh, military profiles that you come across. Um, also, if you need help with stickering, uh, you can maybe make a note that, that you need help with that or reach out on Discord and somebody can help you. The next section is to share any free space pages that you create or come across that have uh, a link to Anybody um, with this, with a connection to this uh, challenge? So a free space page can be created, for instance, for if there's a long will that needs transcribed, uh, you don't necessarily wanna have that whole will listed on the ancestors profile. If you create a free space page, you can link between the two. And we have, uh, Stephen Tomazowicz uh, does the transcriptions for us if you get in the image. He's really great about that. And if you uh, have a cemetery, maybe a space page that is, there's a lot of family members are in that cemetery. Yeah, that's a gr another great space page to share. And then place studies is another opportunity or place uh, 
that we like to hear about. And then the next section of the space page is bounty opportunities. So these are the first ones are the connections. These ones are the ones that are out on the G2G post. If you, like Eowyn mentioned, if you uh, make a unique connection to these uh, ancestors, please uh, post out on G2G so we can get you your bounty points. And then about midweek, Eowyn will update this brick walls section to have the, the brick walls for if you, if you break those brick walls, then you get bounty points. So this um, would be in addition to the bonus brick walls that she's got posted here. So we have multiple chances for bounty lots points. Lots and lots of chances. <laughs> <clears throat> And next up, we have the section where you can find uh, the Zoom and YouTube schedule and links. And then the media re outreach section. One of the uh, reasons for the challenge is to help spread the word about Wikitree. And so this is an opportunity for you all to uh, take our official posts that are out on the different social media channels and retweet or uh, share maybe your own image, which uh, you can go down here and you can add your, your posts that you did. Or you can just go to Twitter, this post out on Twitter where we're talking about Randy's challenge week. And you can just use the, the a link here to retweet or quote retweet or reply give us some love different ways you can help us spread the word there just little little things that help us out the next section is on resources so we have a section about general wikitree resources including a section about wikitree plus and this is a query looks into the Wikitree database, looks for profiles for the active challenge that have no parents. So it's an opportunity for uh, somewhere to work to get started. If you come across any Af African-American profiles, pre please be sure to add the, this markup right here, the African-American sticker to the profile to help the US Black Heritage Project. And last, we have the specific country resources. So within the Wikitree source library, which is linked here, there are pages for the different uh, projects for the countries and then for uh, different provinces or states uh, source pages. So you can go and see that these are free resources that you can check out beyond what's on on family search or ancestry. This is another place to look. So, and if you have resources to share, please go ahead and feel free to add those. We love to have more, all the share as much information as you have <laughs> to help everybody. And so I've went ahead and linked all the different um, source page for you there. All right, so I just want to briefly show you the connections um, profiles that we've got. Frank Walton Seaver is the first one from Massachusetts. So this is an opportunity for someone to work on this family. Patty Louisa Hildreth. also from Massachusetts, Thomas Richmond from England and Massachusetts, Juliet White from Connecticut, Henry Austin Keringer. Is that how it's pronounced Kering Keringer or? We always pronounce it Keringer. Keringer, okay. From Pennsylvania to California, Abby Ardell Smith, Wisconsin to San Diego, 
I love all these pictures, Randy. They're great. Charles, is it Abel? Yes. Abel. New Jersey to San Diego. And Georgiana Kemp from Ontario to California. So that's great. So we started, uh, actually, it's already got up. I think we started with uh, 1143 connections. It'll be great to see if we can get you your 2K badge, your 2000 connections within seven degrees. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. <laughs> so excited to get started on this week. Does anybody want to share where they're going to start out? Well, I'm going to be working on some of the English ones. So <laughs> um, I, I have ancestries, ancestors from Wiltshire, which is where um, uh, Randy's uh, Wiltshire ones, uh, he's got Wiltshire ones definitely. Um, um, I know, I've, I, so I will definitely be doing some, trying or trying to do some work on those um, English ones. That's great. I actually have an old project uh, that uh, I've known for a while intersects with Randy's Brigham line and I've been, done substantial work on it. There's still a brick wall, but I fleshed out as much as I could with the family because they're not recorded anyplace else. So I'm going to be moving that research into WikiTree and um, yeah, and then other people can kind of work off from it in the future. That's exciting. Thank you so much for joining us for the challenge. No, oh, thank you. It's my pleasure. I'll be working on the uh, starting. I have started with the camps from Ontario. For... That's great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I think I was going to look at. Um, I was intrigued by seeing Oregon on here because that's my home state. So I was going to take a look at what profiles are there and see where, where I can help out there. The also Washington state, um, I'm pretty familiar with resources there. So that's kind of where I was going to look. Very cool. Randy and I are six cousins once removed on the guild line. Um, so I'll probably take a look at those and see what what's there. Um, since you showed the profile for Juliet White Richmond, Azure, I do have a question for Randy on that. Because on her WikiTree profile, she has a birth year of 848. But if you look at her find a grave, um, Find a grave has 1847. And it looks like the WikiTree profile doesn't have a source for um, the birth. The Thompson, so, Connecticut Vital Records is my source for that. Okay. So, because I know Find a Grave has the picture of the headstone, which says 1840 seven on it and it looks like in the 1850s census on ancestry hazard is three years old um so that's good to know i was looking at suggestions and that one popped out the likelihood is that the grave cutter you know, made a mistake or was told a mistake. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So many times I have come across a death record. It's just whoever is there to give the information when the death record's filled out or, you know, and they might not have the correct information. Yeah. Okay. So that's something I'll just go ahead and note on there. And get rid of the suggestion for the find a grave. All right. Looks like Randy, you and I are ninth cousins through cool. Wathen. 
And Martin, that's cool. Yeah, it would be pronounced Wathen, but it was Worthen if you you know. Oh, really? Pronounce every letter in the in the name right. Yeah. Huh. But they're recorded as Wathen in the early generations. Wow. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see. I always like to see uh, once the once the score sheet is up, uh, we'll have access to check the connections between uh, the participants and you and uh, see mm -hmm. if it changes over the week. So that, that's always fun to see if that will decrease. Lauren, an exciting 13th cousins three times removed. <laughs> uh, are those kissing cousins? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, uh, I'm Lynn Smith, and hi. Um, hi. I, I'm new, I'm new. Uh, I've been on uh, WikiTree a bit, but um, I noticed on uh, Randy Seedlers, I noticed on your ancestry page that you have a. Uh, I compared your some of the names in your ancestry people with my own. And there's a connection between a, a, a Manning and a Gidding uh, from a couple hundred years ago. So what I wondered is, are you following along the Manning line? Or was that something that I couldn't see the actual connection from the Manning to you yourself and didn't know if maybe that was a connection to some other challenge you were doing, whether it's something I should pursue to update here on Wikitree. Probably not. Uh, the Mannings, my recollection is uh, that they're connected to the NAPS, ah. A-N-A-P-P in New Jersey. Okay. And uh, uh, my ancestor, William Knapp, and his wife actually had a son named Manny Knapp, who was a ah. named after uh, somebody's, and I haven't found the link, uh, named after somebody's parent, you know? Yeah. Uh, and he was a famous judge that died on the bench in like 18, ah. 60 something. Yeah. Okay. Supreme Court judge of New Jersey, Manning Knapp. But ah. Yeah. So is it, do you, is, is it what, just to be, just to make sure I understand correctly, is it something worth my um, connecting, to, working on here on uh, Wikitree or? If would, they're uh, within uh, 20, uh, seven degrees, then yeah. Okay. Uh, it looks like, uh, Randy, you have Manning Nap. Is that 1825 to 1892 Manning Nap? Let's see. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Sarah Nap is the, uh, the sister of Manning. Uh, so okay. William, William Nap and uh, Sarah Cutter are my third great grandparents i think ah uh, and uh but i don't know william knapp's parents he's one of my mysteries okay well um, maybe i'll take a look at that yeah and and that's where i figured the manning side tied into ah uh, but william knapp is a mystery and okay but in all the trees online and i keep fixing the family search family tree <laughs> Uh, to, to delete the, the, the people who can't be, uh, according to most of the trees, uh, William Knapp was born and his mother was eight years old. Oh, yeah. And married and married his purported father in eight, when he was when when William Knapp was eight years old. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's disconnect in, in ages and years and things like that. Yep. Yeah. Well, maybe I can find, I have quite an extensive Manning, quite a deep Manning tree on ancestry. And I don't know, maybe I can, I'll take a look anyway. That'd be great. See if I can find a nap or something. I have naps. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. you I have naps also, right. but they were German. Um, they actually came over. He was a Prussian um, soldier that came over to Canada, settled in Quebec, and then moved to southern Ontario. 
I'm wondering if it could be connected to that Knapp family. I'm sure there's many Knapp families. Probably not. There were, there were you know, New England Knapps, and they moved, some moved to New Jersey, uh, and, and many to New York, and everywhere else. And there were German Knapps, and they coexisted in at least New York, uh, you know, with the New England folks. So, huh. And I have a link into Ontario Knapps uh, through the Kemp Sovereign line. Uh, a Keringer married a Knapp, I think, and moved to California. So th there's a Knapp connection there, but not my ancestry. Great. It looks like everybody has different places to start working and that's exciting to see where where we'll go with the challenge. Does anybody have any questions that they need to ask about where to start or how to get started or anything? I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. All right. Well, thank you everybody for joining us for the chat. Uh, we'll go ahead and let everybody go so they can get started. And we'll hope to see everybody on Saturday noon Eastern time for the weekend chat to check in with y'all. Thanks, everybody. Uh, thank thank you. you. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.